Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tessa Talks. Thank you everyone, before we go any further, thanks everyone for um, watching the video, the very first video I put out about the no radar and the little tests I did on it and stuff like that. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, a lot of viewers did see it and I thank you for that and thank you for subscribing and uh, following the channel and stuff like that. Um, if you're coming from that video, it's all because uh, you asked for more. If you haven't seen that video, I'll just put a, a quick link up in the uh, caption box up above and stuff like that and you can click on that link and you can see the video before you see this one. This video is in response and I was going to bring you more videos anyways, but this video is in response to that video about uh, all the comments down below people asking me oh can you test this does it have this does it do this um, I want to see more tests with the without the radar and how the vision only works and stuff like that so we're gonna do that today um, I'm just gonna go for a regular drive I've got about a, it's a 10-15 minute drive and uh, we'll see how it is uh, this car once again uh, is a 2021 model Y long range without the radar it was a late may build uh it doesn't have the radar if you saw that video too it doesn't have the lumbar but that has nothing to do with uh, the testing of the video today um it is on the newest firmware which i believe is the newest firmware is 2021.4.18.1 for this car so it may be different obviously actually i know it is different this is this one is for one of the radarless cars this firmware all the other cars i think are just on 18 not the dot one so there is still obviously there's going to be some uh discrepancy in 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 the firmwares between the vast majority and these radarless cars so as soon as the slide turns we're gonna uh put it in autopilot now this car doesn't have um fsd just has autopilot so we're gonna see what it what it's like as we're standing here as we're standing here at the light right now one of the things we'll we'll notice is there's a Dodge Caravan in front of me, which is depicted here. Uh, there is another smaller, if not the same size SUV in front of it, but it doesn't pick it up. The camera can't see in front of it. See, it was a uh, BMW X5, I think it was, or X6, is there such a thing? So let's turn the corner, get into the slow lane here, and uh, throw an autopilot and see what happens. Now, what some of you guys have asked while we're driving here, I can just tell you, uh, you guys asked, a, a lot of people were asking, does it have the sonars for parking and stuff like that? Yes, it has all the sonars. Um, it didn't show up too well in the other video that I did because A, I didn't concentrate on it, but also B, uh, with the white, I guess the contrast, you didn't see it that well. Uh, it has all the sonar suites that the other cars did. Okay, so now we're stopping for this red light in front of this uh, Lincoln in front of us. And it's stopping fine. It, it picked it up and it's, uh, decelerating just fine and coming to a safe uh, slow calm stop why I say that is I've noticed some of the other times when I was driving uh, as another car stops in front of me for a red light or something like that or a stop sign uh, the stop seemed to a little more abrupt than when I had my model 3 with radar and I noticed that that's one of the things I noticed first and foremost right off the bat is the stops were a little more abrupt like suddenly like almost like if uh, the camera just picked up the car in front and realize it's it's um, stopping and the distance is decreasing quickly so that one was perfect the one we just noticed there was perfect but in the past it's been a little um, little dicey I had my foot on the brake ready to engage which you should always do anyways with autopilot and be paying attention to hand on the wheel and stuff like that but that uh, the few times I really thought of taking over and pressing the brake to, to uh, bring the car to a stop myself so as, we, as you can see, we're going um, another way. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, another way to know that the radar, the, sorry, the sonar, I keep saying radar, the sonars are working and the sensors on the side are working. You can see yellow, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. Uh, coming up to see this this one stopped a little little more abruptly. Not as abruptly as they've, it has been in the past, uh, but a, a little more than what we did previously. So that one, that could have been a little smoother in my opinion. Uh, but as you can see, we've got a, a Mazda CX-9. It doesn't see the other car in front. Uh, I can't even see it. <laughs> you know what? I can't even see it. It's a small little uh, hatchback or sedan, so I can't even see it. It definitely doesn't see it, as you can see. Picks up all the other cars. It picks up three, if three, if not four cars in the adjacent lane, in the left uh, passing lane. It can pick it up, no, fine, sign, no problem. Picks up uh, speed signs, no problem. It picks up all road markings, all 
pylons. It picks up traffic lights. I have the, uh, tra the FSD preview on where it picks up uh, traffic lights and stuff like that. This car's stopping and it's, yeah, see it's, I mean, it was a fresh red. It was an amber turning to red. So it was an abrupt stop anyway. So I'll, I'll give him that benefit of the doubt. That, that wasn't um, the best uh, time to stop. So I'll give the car the benefit of the doubt on that one. So just waiting for the light to turn green here. Here it goes. It's off. There's nobody in front of the CX-9, so it won't be able to uh, pick that up. The reason I'm talking about that, if you're, you're not familiar, folks, with the last video, is, or if you're not familiar with the older Teslas, Teslas that have radar, uh, one unique feature with the radar is that it would pick up the car that's directly in front of you. It would bounce the radar off or off the ground and go underneath the car and pick up the car that's in front of that car with this camera-based Tesla Vision, it doesn't do that anymore, at least not right now. I don't know how or if they'll be able to do that, but the unique thing with physical radar beams, it was able to do that. With pure vision and cameras only, I don't know how uh, Tesla will be able to get around that and actually do that. So we'll have to wait and see as, as it progresses. But you know what, like just regular autopilot, if you're not even considering that, and that is a big thing. In my opinion, that's a big thing. I'm, I'm not uh, making light of it. Okay, this is a small residential street. I'm gonna put it on autopilot and see what happens. It's a little windy and it's got some stop signs here, so we'll see what happens here. It stops, the distance between when it stops, between it and the other car is perfect, just like a regular autopilot, no problem there. Because this car went up a little bit and stopped and yeah, the car's behaving good. The autopilot, like I said, other than the coming to a stop abruptly, autopilot's working great. And uh, like I said, other than the radar, uh, picking up the car in front of you that's in front of you um, other than that autopilot's been working great and i haven't noticed much difference at all uh, with pure vision so i think tesla's on to something right now jury's out for me i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt i'm not gonna uh cry bloody murder right now and say uh tesla's doomed without a radar we've all loved tesla we all understand that there's, they're not perfect. They've done, they do some stupid things sometimes. Um, a lot of people in the comments in my other video said this is one of the stupid things they did. And I, I was on the fence. And uh, now that I've got the car back because um, I've had the car for over almost two weeks now. but for Or probably about a week and a half. But out of that week and a half, it was at the uh, detailer for the last week. So I haven't had much time to check it out and, and play around with it and stuff like that. But, I can say, I can safely say now that now that I've been using it a little bit longer, autopilot's working just fine, um, and I have a feeling I have faith in Tesla, and I have a feeling that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. Will they do it in two weeks? Will this car be on par with the radar cars in two weeks? No, well, that's Elon time. We all know that. That's debatable uh, in terms of when it's going to happen, but it I, I think it'll happen. So let me get to my destination, grab what I got to get, and then I'll see you guys as we uh, go back the other way and see if we see anything um, remarkable on that drive. Okay, folks, we're now back on the road, we're going the other direction. Now, some people in the previous video wondered if it had emergency lane departure. Uh, now, it does, but it, I think it's a little confusing. What's turned off right now, um, temporarily for the time being and hopefully it'll go back on is the emergency lane departure avoidance which is the one right here uh, that's grayed out that's turned off what i believe that is uh, correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments below that's like if i'm driving here and there's another lane over here or even if there isn't another lane and there's an accident in front of me that the car detects it will whether i'm on autopilot or not it will physically jar the wheel out of my hand and move move over lanes uh, to avoid the accident it, it'll depart the lane that you're in to avoid an accident um, that's like i said that's disabled now and soon to come hopefully come back because that's also important for a safety feature uh, what it does have and what people were wondering if it hadn't and, and were confused and i was confused myself is it has lane departure warning um, and i'll show you what that is uh, emergency lane departure, maybe not emergency, but it has lane departure warning. And that's basically, if you're not on autopilot and you're just driving a car and you take your hands off the wheel, or even if you have your hands on the wheel just slightly, and you slowly start to drift into another lane, uh, and you started going onto the uh, either dotted white lines or a solid line or some of that, um, the car will detect that. It'll have an audible sound. The lane markings on the screen will light up and the car will physically uh, take the wheel and it'll steer and center back into the lane. 
it still has that that still works and I'll show you as we go up here I'll see if I can uh, replicate that and show you an example of that okay so I'm in just cruise control not in autopilot if I was to take my hands off the wheel see it lights up blue showing that solid line and it makes a noise now a little signal comes up here a little uh, message says take control immediately uh, warning lane departure and it actually steers you back into lane so that still works that's fine that's all, all camera based and that works perfectly fine another thing people were asking me about is the where is it uh, the forward collision warning they're wondering if that works or if that was radar based well may it may have been radar based before for the radar cars um, now it's camera based maybe it always was camera I don't know but it still works so I have it on early uh, because I wanted to test it out and what that is is Anyone that has a Model 3 or Model Y, or maybe even the S and X, I'm not sure. As you're driving, usually on a residential road or even a street like this, but it has parked cars on the side, on the right-hand side. If you're going around a corner, or you're coming too close to that parked car. Uh, this is where you, it happens the most. Uh, the car that's parked that it will depict here on screen will turn red, like a dark red or a bright red. I, forget, I think it's a dark red, and it'll um, uh, start. Uh, the car will start. Um, making noise, uh, audible chimes and, and alerts and everything like that. And sometimes if you're an autopilot, it'll actually even start braking for you. So that's the forward early, uh, that's the forward collision warning and that works fine. Like I said, I've tested it out. Where you also get that too sometimes is if there's a car, you're on a regular road like just like this, and there's a car in front of you waiting to turn or slowing down to turn right or to turn left. And you're just gonna keep your speed because you know you can go around them, like just squeeze over to the other lane and go around them. So you're continuing your speed. The car thinks for a split second that you're gonna hit that car. So it'll give you that warning, the red uh, car on the screen, the audible warning by, by the speakers in the car, and it'll avoid it. Uh, actually, it won't, it'll just tell you to avoid it. So that's another case of when the um, forward collision warning comes on. And it works fine. Put it into autopilot now and we're coming through the screen light. Hands on the wheel still. Uh, that's another thing I want to test out. Uh, we need to test out that, and that'll be an, a separate video altogether. Uh, in the last update, it doesn't show it in this update, but in the last update it said that um, they've enabled driver monitoring now with the in-cabin camera there that fit uh, uh, points here in the cabin. That's uh, apparently enabled. So I'm curious to know, and that's in a video coming because some people were asking me, um, if that actually works now like if i take my eyes off the road or i pick up my phone and stuff like that uh will the nag come on a lot more or will some message flash on the screen that will be tested out in another video i've, I've got a, a good video uh, coming for that but i need to be prepared i need to be safe so i can't do that by myself so a video of that is coming um what other changes that i've noticed oh um just yesterday i think uh, an article came out from drive test of canada about the the washer fluid nozzles on the wipers they're now changed they're actually more now which is great like i mean i don't know if it has anything to do with the all camera based and no radar and they need the the windshield to be a lot more clear at all times but i haven't i, I don't want to ruin my windows now even though they're not the cleanest but uh trust me when i say i'll, I'll take a, a photo here and put it over top there is a, it looks like almost double the amount of uh, washer fluid nozzles to clean more of the car, which which is good because on the Model 3, the, which was a 2018, it worked, but there were some dead spots that the nozzle could have fit in or, or the spray could have gotten that it didn't get on the windshield. So to have more is even better. And of course, we know one of the other things in the, this newest model is that um, that people are complaining about, obviously, everyone's complaining about something, right? Um, is the auto wipers auto wipers have to be on uh also give you a nag and tell you that uh, autopilot can't work fun or function properly if the auto wipers aren't on and the auto high beams now i tested out last night with auto high beams and uh, autopilot and it worked fine but yes auto uh, auto high beams have to be on doesn't bother me because i was always the type of person that uh, kept auto high beams on and i know the vast majority of people out there 90 percent of people say auto high beams didn't work uh, to their liking it was fine for me. Yeah, the odd time it wasn't the greatest, but it worked fine. I'm coming from another car uh, that's a 2019 that has auto high beams, and I can tell you from one of the big OEMs, it this system is night and day compared to that system. It, it, this system works so good, and it's it's amazing. 
So, but I know a lot of people still don't like how it works. Anyways, folks, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you, I hope I was able to answer some of the questions that you guys have for uh, what's going on with uh, autopilot with this new Tesla Vision no radar system. So, if you have any questions, like I said, leave them down below. I'll, I'll try to answer all of them like I've, I've been doing and I'll try to test everything that you guys want me to test more videos coming uh, this was just a quick drive that probably didn't end up so quick but this is just a quick drive uh, do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button it means it means nothing to you guys but it means a lot to me and it helps the channel out uh, keep growing and keep bringing you videos like this thanks for watching we'll talk to you later bye bye Yeah.